Okay, picked up all the tin cans. Uh, I actually missed something when I was looting earlier. Part of the quest for exploring this place, finding the food and medicine, and I ended up finding the food in this gas food storage unit. There's uh, two packs of Dandy Boy apples. Uh, the only other thing in here to check out is this little room front manager's office sort of type thing. Let's see. Oh, and I suppose I would have found a lot of food here too. Yeah, it is a grocery store. And it is the, was the base camp of the raiders that keep screwing with Megaton, so you would think there'd be a quest to have me go kill the raiders. Maybe they're supposed to be and I just killed them too soon. I don't know, but this game seems to be pretty good about, or the franchise seems to be pretty good about, hey, I already did this for you, give me the loot, energy cells, energy, laser, awesome, more bottle cap mine, more lasers, cigarettes, good sitting there talking to me dead which is what they are okay so yeah this place is pretty well cleaned out also I moved wait, did I check this one yet yeah okay uh, I moved all the stuff from that little box over there to the nice little Coca Cola machine as you can see it's got tons of stuff in it so, yeah, I will come back for all this stuff, but for now, just find anything too heavy to put in there, no, okay, so, let's get a little more quest version. Spent a little while in there. Hey, buddy, we're not chasing you around anymore. Water. Thank God. Water. I'm out. You got to give me some water or I'm done for. You just saved my life. I gave him 30 I won't forget it. I can't travel yet. I'll be back on my feet soon. Thanks to you. There's a cold in there. You can just walk back and tell. Crazy pants, the tinkerer. Who do you do? So friendly, always greeting me every time I walk past. Uh, up this way, yeah, kind of toward that way, I think. Still don't quite have my bearing on Megaton. Oh, stop that, you stupid, stupid computer. Can we get up here? Yeah, what is it? Pipes are fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Oh, Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, 
I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. I'm really not worried about the town. I my scrap and break down into bullets, and that's a little more important to me than the adventure and all. Haha, the supplies still. Really, you're closed already? Stupid hoe. This seven hours can't be enough for that. Or maybe it is. How's the field research going? going good. So, how's the scaving been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Me too. Hmm. That's why I'm gonna. Well, find keep out. what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old Ooh. food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more uh, better. <laughs> I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which Naturally strikes your fancy? Go, uh... Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? Go in the first I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning. So I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Yeah. Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, really and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. This sounds dangerous. Something about facial surgery and reprogramming its memory, but that seems to have been a hoax. Hmm. Haven't heard anything about it in a long time. What do you need? I think I need to sell stuff. Or do I have it all still? Anything saleable? Oh, okay. Do you have anything I really want to buy? Damaged garden gnome. That must be awesome. Good hunting. See. Don't try anything. Oh, 
Okay, so what do like my red limits go up to? Just gotta be There we go. Radiation. They look a little harder. Or like at all. Can we get six hundred? fastest way I know to get radiation poisoning is it's not very pleasant or palatable. But in the name of science and testing. Eh, how much was that? You looking for the mayor or the sheriff? I ain't looking for neither. Looking for the bathroom is what I'm looking for. And just run around and run around and run around and never find the freaking bathroom. Story of my life. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. I ain't looking to tamper with nothing. Over here, piss on. Ah, yeah, I mean, cursed bathroom. Men, women, and children of the earth, come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. You know, I kept finding those freaking bathrooms every time I did one. Said to get you six. This seems so, so bad idea. And I now go in the dark. This better be worth it, Moira. Like, you better remove all of it worth it. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> okay, you're funny. I can tell you're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. <laughs> so, you're experiencing delusions, too. Awesome. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. 
I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. But I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Oh, really? Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag grenades, in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. Okay. And if you bring me back something to study, Beak. maybe I can make some modifications Beak. for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. Oh, I hear there's a Chico playground Chico. in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Remember, I'll buy... I got my eye on you. Did I put him on the side? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I do have some other 50s I can go hit, though, don't I? Hmm. What's shaking? Well, at any rate. Is my business. I believe that it goes for this session. Thanks, everybody, and we'll catch you later. Okay, going and getting some of my loot out of the grocery store. This kid just came up and said these monsters are gonna come get me. So, random event. Figured I better go ahead and capture this. Those things. They keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. Those things. It's all their fault. They did this to us. What things? No. Whose things? The rut. No. You don't care. The grown ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Just help me. Promise you'll help me. Okay, I promise I'll help. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. Okay. Well, they're big ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. <laughs> I just call them fire ants. My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. 
but he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Nah. No, those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. Yep, I have been invaded by ants. Alright. It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to D.C. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. <laughs> um, besides me and my papa, there was Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Nah, people don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, oh, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been okay, here for maybe a there. year. All right. Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Gotcha. Nah, he was a nice man. But he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. Yeah? Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. Yeah, Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of gray ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Very interesting random yeah. encounter. Alright. Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Okay. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Make him come back. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Oh yeah. This nothing's gonna go wrong with that. Uh Alright, kid. I'll help you. But I got business to attend to.